Okay, so last night I went to see Avatar, the new James Cameron film. James Cameron is of course the director of Titanic, Aliens with Sigourney Weaver, and of course The Terminator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. And for this film, he has literally pulled out all the stops. And it shows. He's been working on this film for about three years and it's visually really, really stunning. The CGI for the film was really top notch. Uh, because of the little flaws in the design of the characters, uh, in the way they moved, they looked very realistic and you would almost forget that you weren't looking at a real actor. Sam Worthington plays Jake Sully, a crippled marine that gets uh, transported to a planet called Pandora and is enlisted in the Avatar program. The concept is to drive these remotely controlled bodies called avatars. They're grown from human DNA mixed with DNA of the natives. Looks like you. This is your avatar. Worthington's character is aided by Sigourney Weaver's character, who is a scientist. At first, she appears to be a total bitch, but uh, she turns out to be this eco-warrior that's concerned with uh, the well-being of the planet and the well-being of the people of the planet. Well, the best character in this movie is the Colonel, uh, portrayed by Stephen Lang. Um, he's a real hard-ass, he's a tough-ass marine. Uh, he wants nothing more but to kill the entire species. Uh, unfortunately, his character has the lamest uh, lines in the entire movie. You get me what I need, I'll see to it you get your legs back. Your real legs. Now, the story of the movie kind of reminds me of the old movie Fern Gully. don't know if you remember that one. Um, yeah, and the overall plot seems to be a mix between Last of the Mohicans and Dances with Wolves. Now this isn't per se a bad thing, but the movie does suffer from it a little and uh, also the dialogues uh, could have been uh, way better. Well, because of some of the problems with the dialogue and the plot, I can give this movie a 10, but it's definitely a high 9. So if you get the chance, watch it in cinemas, and if you get the extra money, try to watch it in 3D. That's it for Avatar. Um, thank you for watching Lost in Hollywood, and I'll see you next time. You should have never trusted Hollywood.